this channel there is a playlist called the Jussie Smollett Saga. It started four years ago. Four years ago because Jussie Smollett was the victim of a crime. A truly heinous crime. One that, at time of recording on the 2nd of December, although this goes out a little bit after, Jussie Smollett finally gets the justice that Jussie Smollett deserved from the offset. The proper person who committed the crimes against Jussie Smollett will now go back to prison after having served only mere five days because they baited and then acted as if they were the biggest victim of them all. The original sentence was quite frankly laughable, but we'll get to some of that soon. I'm going to in the pinned comment link playlist if you are at all interested in watching all the videos to understand better the context concerning the Jussie Smollett saga. It is quite a lengthy one, and the fact that after all these years it persisted is quite, let's face it, impressive. A commitment on the part of Jussie Smollett to ensure that justice is truly served by ensuring every avenue was explored first. And boy were they explored. I know I could now tease you a bit and play all the videos from the past, but I'm not going to do that. That would be very unfair to all of you wonderful people watching this video. An impromptu one, hence no captain's log. I'm instead going to focus on the where are they now from 2022, and then what has happened in 2023. Don't worry, I'm not going to play too much of the where are they now video, because I really do want to focus on what has been going on this year. Because Juicy Small Bits has been quite active in rebuilding their career, away from the camera, but also trying to push other messages, and let's face it, it's all cringe, but we should definitely talk about it. Much, much later. The damage you've done to yourself is way beyond anything else that can happen to you from me. You are now a permanently convicted felon. You've embarrassed your valuable friends in high places, the elected public officials, people in the media. You've become toxic in your own workplace. The future is uncertain at very best. It was really on a rocket ship to success, and now you've turned yourself into riches to rags. I'm fashioning the following sentence, and here's your sentence. I'm sentencing you to 30 months felony probation, and the probation is going to be to this court. You're going to be allowed to travel wherever you want. You do not have to live in the state of Illinois. You will pay restitution to the city of Chicago in the amount of $120,106. You are fined $25,000, and you will spend the first 150 days of your sentence in the Cook County Jail, and that will start today. I'd just like to say to Your Honor that I am, uh, I am not suicidal. That's what I would like. Okay. I'm not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. I am innocent and I am not suicidal. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you and I respect the jury, but I did not do this. And I am not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. And you must all know that. A few moments later. On the 15th of March, Jussie Smollett is moved out of the psych ward and into another cell after complaining that it was damaging his mental health to then ask to be freed just five days into his sentence. With his brother saying that Jussie is now in a cell that actually has a bed, with his family claiming that he'd been sleeping on a restrained bed in a psychiatric unit. Now, Jussie had for six days allegedly been surviving on ice because he refused food, so he was drinking ice water. He's not suicidal, folks, but he will starve himself, on principle that he is innocent, even though he was found guilty on five out of six charges by a unanimous decision. All right. On Wednesday, after an appeals court agreed with his lawyers that he should be free pending the appeal of his conviction for lying to police about a racist and homophobic attack, Jussie Smollett walked out of the Cook County Jail. Recently, he gave an interview with Sway's Sirius XM show, where Jussie said that, well, his moral principles as a black gay man made him incapable of orchestrating the hoax, being quoted as saying, If I had done this, I'd be a piece of poop, and I don't think that's really questionable. If I had done something like this, it would mean that I stuck my fist in the pain of black African Americans in this country for over 400 years. It would mean that I stuck my fist in the fears of the LGBTQ community all over the world. I am not that mother fudger. Never have been, don't need to be. He also compared his six days incarcerated at Cook County Jail to a cathartic opportunity to reset and regain clarity by fasting. Quote, My lawyer, he lied when he said I was fasting for Lent. I was not fasting for Lent. I was fasting because that's what we do in my family. We fast for clarity. No, you fasted because... 
You were trying to act up the I'm suicidal thing while you had declared you weren't, to make it seem like more of a melodramatic statement than it really was. He also said, I'm an actor, a director, a writer, a producer. If I were to do something, it would not be to look like a victim. It would be to look like, if anything, to look strong. See, I told you I wasn't going to take too long. That was a 20 plus minute video. There's a lot more in it, but I felt the two clips you got were very important. Especially his, let's face it, bait comments concerning unaliving. The timing of that was solely done because of, I believe, someone called Epstein. But also because he wanted to make sure he didn't become some kind of martyr, or he would become a martyr, depending on your interpretation of the events. Now, on the 3rd of March, 2023, nearly a year after being sentenced to jail for lying to the police about orchestrating a hate crime against himself, Jussie Smollett officially filed to appeal against his December 2021 conviction. Attorneys filed an appellate brief, an argument in Illinois First District Appellate Court, to grant Smollett a new trial with a new judge arguing the trial court committed reversible error when processing his case and was excessive in its sentencing. I would disagree about the excessive part in sentence, because I firmly believe his sentence should be a lot stronger, a lot harsher, and cost him a lot more money. He wasted so much police time. They rightfully billed him for that, and he didn't pay them. He faked a crime. His lawyers, Yenye E. Uk and Heather A. Whittle, argued the renewed prosecution, a second indictment of Smollett and additional punishment, violated the actor's due process rights in part because a, quote, binding, end quote, non-prosecution agreement was not enforced, and that Smollett was subjected to double jeopardy. Ah, oh, double jeopardy. Oh, that's quaint. That's cute. Interesting. They also took issue with the special prosecutor in the case. Quote, If Mr. Smollett's convictions are allowed to stand, this case will set a dangerous precedent by giving prosecutors a second bite at the apple any time there is dissatisfaction with another prosecutor's exercise of discretion. They agreed a deal, and the deal was bogus. It was not set in stone, and it wasn't double jeopardy. You're trying to argue double jeopardy on semantics of a meeting. The agreement meant there wasn't a trial in the first place. Therefore, it can't be double jeopardy. How thick are you? I'm going to assume someone American is now going to be in my comments like, Well, actually, it's double jeopardy because of this. This, you're wrong, but you should learn more. Shut up. See, I knew you were going to do that. You can stop writing it. His legal team also cited several other issues in a 102-page document alleging that the prosecution was dismissive of the defense's questioning that sought to establish homophobia in the case, because none was to be found. They enforced COVID protocols during the trial, dismissed black and gay potential jurors, and should not have allowed Smollett's full bombshell Good Morning America interview to play during jury deliberations. Right, the sexuality and the race of the jurors means nothing. It really doesn't, because that would imply you are seeking a bias from those who can relate to Juicy. That's what it implies. Actually, it outright states it, to be honest. How disingenuous are you about due process? Skip ahead to the 12th of September 2023. Actor Jesse Smollett appeared at ease in a loop courtroom on Tuesday, casually dressed in a yellowish beige jacket and brown dress sneakers. He managed to slip by cameras in front of the building and sat in the courtroom's gallery behind his attorneys as he listened to the arguments. Asked afterward how he thought it went, Jesse smiled politely and said he wasn't sure. He declined further comment, promising to talk about everything once his long-running legal saga was over. At that point, it was believed it could be in seven weeks, when the judge, three-judge panel even, of the Illinois Appeals Court is expected to rule on whether to uphold the conviction. Smollett's attorneys retread familiar ground during the hearing, making similar arguments they had made since the Cook County State Attorney's Office dropped initial charges against him in 2019, months after they were brought. Smollett's attorney argued Tuesday that his rights were violated when a new indictment was brought against him by Dan Webb, who had been appointed by Judge Michael Tumin to review the decision to drop the case. That's because the outroar, the outrage, was phenomenal. He had lied, and the deal essentially meant he did community service and forfeited his bond as restitution. He was not punished. He didn't have to admit guilt. He is guilty. He has been found guilty now anyway. One of his defense attorneys argued that the special prosecutor should never have been appointed because Fox never officially recused herself. Fox had conflict of interest, straight up. Fox had conflict of interest with Juicy Smollett. Smollett's attorneys also argued that Judge James Lynn erred when he declined to make the special prosecutor turn over his notes or even review them in chambers from an hour-long interview with the Osandero brothers, who were recruited, not allegedly as the article here says, they were recruited by Smollett in a bathhouse. The assistant special prosecutor, Sean Weber, 
argued that the decision by Fox's office to drop the case referred to as Nolle Pros had no bearing on whether new charges could be brought. Quote, he didn't bargain and receive finality, he bargained for and received a Nolle Pros. Nolle Pros is short for Nolle Prosequa. It is a formal notice of abandonment by a plaintiff or prosecutor for all or part of a suit or action. Essentially, dismissal or termination of legal proceedings by the Attorney General. Yes, I know my Latin. Skipping ahead one final time, and you're going to love this. The appeals court has finally made up its mind. They decided to uphold the disorderly conduct convictions, meaning yes, there is in fact justice for Jussie, because Jussie is going back to jail. As a consequence, Jussie Smollett will have to finish a 150 day stint in jail that was originally part of his sentence because he only spent six days in jail while the rest of his time was appealing it. Lawyers have publicly claimed that he was the target of a racist justice system and people playing politics. So I do like alliteration. Quote, we are preparing to escalate this matter to the Supreme Court, said Holly Baird, the spokeswoman for Jussie Smollett. Referring to the Illinois highest court, and also noting that the opinion at the appellate wasn't unanimous. This is because appellate Justice Fredrina Lyle would have thrown out the convictions, saying it was fundamentally unfair to appoint a special prosecutor and charge Smollett when he had already performed community service as part of the deal with Cook County prosecutors to close the case. It was common sense that Smollett was bargaining for a complete resolution of the matter, not simply a temporary one. The other two judges, David Navarro and Mary Ellen Coughlin, Coghlan, 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 C-O-G-H-L-A-N, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, said that he was not immune to a fresh round of charges. Quote, The record does not contain any evidence that prosecutors agreed Smollett would not be further prosecuted in exchange for forfeiting his bond and performing community service. Get wrecked, you bitch. At time of recording on the 2nd of December 2023, there is no indication when he will have to go back to prison. Of course, he is going to appeal this to the Supreme Court, He's going to lose. What I want to do now is read some tweets. Because I like tweets. Tweets are fun. Colin Ruck, Justin, hoaxer Jussie Smollett lost his appeal, is going back to jail after an appeals court affirmed his disorderly conduct conviction. Good. Keep him there. Amuse. MAGA victim Jussie Smollett, who avoided jail for almost three years while his case was on appeal, has finally lost. He'll receive credit for five days and will only spend 145 days in jail. I hope he serves the entire thing. I really do. Although if memory serves, wasn't it meant to be 300 days? You know, I can't remember. I bet he'll be out in half the time regardless. Reply to Amuse. Jussie Smollett was released after six days into his 150 day sentence. He must have been pretty upset that his attacker got out so early. Mary. There is a god. Jussie Smollett conviction upheld and he will likely return to prison. Court TV. Jussie Smollett hashtagged loses his appeal after being convicted of staging a racist homophobic attack on himself in 2019. And me, because of course I have to have my two cents thrown in. Um, well, hmm, can I read this? You know, I can. I'll, I'll even read it in the other voice. Bah, Jazzy Smollett, juicy small bits, is going back to jail after losing his appeal. Couldn't be happier for him that his attacker is going to jail. Justice for Jazzy is a guarantee. Batch tits. You know, I thought that would hurt my voice. I was wrong. I'm okay with this. I do hope you go back to prison soon. I do hope you serve your time soon. I always believed that everyone deserves another chance to rebuild their careers, and you had been doing that as a director and doing music stuff. I was interested to see what you'd get up to doing that. I wonder how this will affect your career, or how many people are willing to keep propping you up because MAGA bad and you did in greater good. It's a common term at the moment, the greater good, the common good. Only the towel get it right. The rest of you suck at it. 